So uh, in last class, uh, we have discussed about the ball bearing design. So we have seen uh, various types of, uh, sorry, uh, uh, sliding contact bearing design. Uh, we have seen two different types of sliding contact bearing. Those are uh, um, hydrodynamic and hydrostatic. Okay, and we have seen the problems on how to design a hydrodynamic journal bearing for a specific application. Okay, and uh, we have seen two different types of problems uh, in design aspect and calculating various characteristic numbers and parameters uh, in the usage of sliding contact bearing. So the first half of the uh, unit is uh, the unit is over with that uh, sliding contact bearing in the second half we are going to discuss about uh, the ball bearing okay so now uh, you have uh, ball bearings so in this unit the second half is going to be on ball bearing and roller bearing okay so presently we have um, okay fine so uh, before that do you have any doubt in the sliding contact uh, bearing design in the sliding contact in the small recap do you have any doubt in sliding contact bearing design yes guys no sir no Actually, uh, in case of sliding contact bearing, uh, that is hydrodynamic journal bearing, you will be having the bearing. Okay, I'm just giving you a recap. Okay, and you will be having the journal or shaft inside that. And in between that, you will be having lubricant. Okay, so this will be bearing. This will be shaft. And in in between, we will be having lubricant. Okay, this is how the simple uh, screen uh, uh, construction of yes. Screen in the present one. Present one, yeah. Ah. Once again. Okay. Now, can you see my screen? Yes, sir. Yes, yes, okay. So uh, in today's class, we are going to look into the ball bearings. Uh, uh, the introduction for the ball bearing, we are not going to see the formulation and all. We will simply have the introduction. Uh, before that, uh, uh, we know in case of sli uh, sliding contact uh, uh, bearing, that is hydrodynamic general bearing, we have already discussed in the last class. So this is the simple setup. You will be having a bearing, uh, simple. Uh, uh, a, a kind of uh, support, okay, and you will be having your shaft located inside, and the, in between the shaft that is rotating inside your bearing, you will be having a lubricant uh, that will be uh, restricting the direct contact, metal to metal contact of your uh, bearing surface and your shaft surface, okay. So in, in the design of sliding contact bearing, we have three steps. Initially, we have to calculate the heat generation. Okay, and then we have to calculate the heat dissipation, and then we have to compare the heat generation and heat dissipation, and it should be uh, in such a way that heat generation is less than heat dissipation. If it is so, then your bearing is safe in the operating condition. If it is not so, then you have to go for artificial cooling. Okay, so if you want to provide artificial cooling, external cooling, either by using a fan or by using a, 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 an external cooling medium like uh, water, okay, then how much amount of water you have to supply for that, for calculating that also, there is a formula. So these are the three major steps in the design of hydrodynamic general bearing. One is initially you have to calculate the generated heat due to the friction and then you have to calculate the dissipated heat and then you have to compare them both 
if it is satisfying this condition then you don't have uh, i have to provide artificial cooling if it is uh, not satisfying this condition then you have to provide an additional cooling system by using a fan or a cooling system okay and in some of the problems directly they would uh, they would give you the lubricant like uh, you may have to use sae 10 or sae 30 uh, for this application with the viscosity of some value okay some detail will be given uh, in the problem usually but if it is not given any data is not given about the lubricant then if they are asking you to suggest one lubricant then you have to calculate the viscosity of the you have to calculate the viscosity of the uh, fluid first and then you have to know the operating temperature by using these two parameters by referring the graph in the PSG data book, you can select the standard oil that has to be used in the application. Okay, so if they have directly given, you can uh, you can go for the calculation of heat generation, heat dissipation, and then comparison. And if artificial cooling is required, calculate the mg value. So mg value calculate under the formula is also we have discussed in the problem. Okay, so this is how the hydrodynamic general bearing design was uh, uh, carried out generally uh, in an overview. Uh, but uh, here uh, in today's class, we are going to look into a different types of bearing uh, that is uh, anti-friction bearing or rolling contact bearing. Generally, we classify bearing into two categories. One is sliding contact. Okay, the other one is rolling contact. Okay. So sliding contact is over. How it is called sliding contact? This is sliding contact. Because your surface of your shaft is sliding against the surface of your bearing. Okay, now we are going to look into the rolling contact bearing. Okay, so ball bearing is one of the rolling contact. Rolling contact means there will be some rolling element. Okay, in between your, uh, your in, in inside your bearing. So which will be taking up the uh, contact okay so the rolling element uh, will be there the rolling element either it may be a ball or it may be a roller okay ball the roller can have the some ball will be spherical okay roller will be cylindrical okay so random rolling contact and I do roll on you do roll on okay on a surface this can roll and also this can roll both can roll on the surface okay so both are called rolling contact so if if we are using balls then it is called ball bearing okay if we are using rollers cylinders then a solid small solid cylinders they are called roller bearings okay so this is the basic geometrical difference in the uh, based on the geometry of uh, rolling rolling element if you are using ball then it is called ball bearing if you are using roller it is called roller bearing okay so that's what we are going to see in today's class so the contact between the bearing surfaces is rolling as i told you earlier in case of uh, sliding contact bearing you will be only having a uh, having a kind of uh, uh, okay we would have inserted the uh, shaft Okay. One second. Okay. So, but in case of uh, this uh, rolling contact, we will be having. It is.
Okay. So now uh, you see here. So here, uh, in, in our uh, normal uh, hydrodynamic uh, journal bearing, uh, we will be having the ba bearing surface. Okay. One, one, one strip, uh, which means one ring kind of setup. One ring image, one period ring image. And the ring will be done. Shaft will be inserted. Okay. And then the other one will be done. This is a simple setup. So, this is where it is. One one ring kind of setup only the called as bearing. Okay, in between, we are just placing the lubricant. On in the cases of rolling contact bearing, you will be having two races, two rings. One is called the inner race, another one is called outer race. Okay, so in the inner race, in the, in the, in the group, in the ring, this is the inner race. Inner lapranala, this is outer race. In the inner race, outer race, Nadula the Enerco, rolling element. And the rolling element Enorkla, are the ball or cla, Elena roller cla. Are the ball na the ball bearing, roller na the roller bearing. Okay, so in the rend race, Kun Nadula, rend the inner race, outer race, Kun Nadula, we will be having rolling elements. Okay, instead of direct sliding, what will happen in the shaft on the rotate down the inner inner ring on the shaft or a couple air co and the inner ring rotate down the inner ring rotate down the other rotate down one of the ball on the roll a harmic either roll a harmic or then the ring to nadula roll a harmic okay so up to roll a combo uh, there will be a uh, there will be a very uh, uh, when the rolling is happening the friction will be very less okay so that is the reason why we call these rolling contact bearing as anti friction bearing okay these rolling ba rolling contact bearings are also called as anti friction bearing okay the reason is that they are having rolling elements which are producing very low friction in the bearing okay that is why we are calling that as anti friction bearing okay so some advantages uh, here you have very low starting and running friction uh, but in case of uh, hydro uh, dynamic general bearing as there there is a the sliding uh, contact there will be high amount of friction initial friction and then the ability to withstand the momentary shock loads uh, and accuracy of the shaft alignment even there is a small misalignment in the shaft that will be even uh, uh, acceptable uh, in case of some rolling contact bearing there are some special rolling contact bearings which will also allow some kind of axial uh, 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 axial misalignments so uh, it is a, another advantage of it and also low cost of maintenance you don't have to frequently apply the lubricant and you have to keep that in the uh, service okay uh, because it is only functioning based on the rolling elements it is not functioning based on the lubrication. So, in given the uh, this lubrication is playing the major role. In the lubricate lubricant now what is what is doing? It is it is giving the uh, or it is reducing the friction. Okay, but uh, in case in in this case, these rolling elements are playing the role. In the uh, lubricant well, the rolling element and upon the friction on the reduced one. So, frequent and even the lubricant change one and the very problems here. So, maintenance will be uh, easy easy. And uh, overall dimension also, even you have some uh, uh, low, uh, small sized, uh, uh, smallest sized bearings are also available, and reliability will uh, will be very high, and it is easy to mount uh, in uh, any uh, machine uh, frames, uh, and also uh, it is clean. How it is clean? Because you don't use much lubricant. So when you are using much lubricant, what will happen when there is there is some amount of wear? In between these two mating surfaces, and the one or particles are not going the lubricant will be putting. Putting now the the that the dirt will not move away because it is it is uh, seated into the lubricant. So uh, what will uh, the, the the place will look very dirty. The place where the uh, uh, sliding contact bearing is there will be looking dirt. Okay, but here in this case it is not so because you are using less amount of lubricant so it will be looking clean the work environment and the work uh, zone will be looking clean okay 
so uh, this is the uh, typical uh, uh, diagram you can uh, you can you can see here okay so here as i told you earlier this is outer ring this is inner ring and this is nothing but cage cage na na the balls la irukle at the balls la hold pandradhukku or or case case nu vechukalam and the case is nothing but cage okay and the cage la da enna irukum ella balls irukum so these are the balls when it is uh, rotating what will happen balls will be rolling into the races okay so it is reducing the friction so this is ball bearing this is roller bearing so here you can see the difference so instead of ball we are using rollers a small cylinders rollers are nothing but cylinders okay rollers okay and uh, some disadvantages are also there for this rolling contact bearing uh, the first one is uh, it's noisy but at very high speed when you put it in very high speed it will be noisy because of the rolling elements and low resistance uh, to the shock loading uh, in some cases okay and you need some more initial cost but when you are going for some small application it is not so like uh, you want to have a, a rolling a ball bearing for 20 mm diameter shaft uh, it is not going to cost much it will be around 100 rupees or 200 rupees based on the capacity you require okay so you can also uh, put it uh, so but when you go for big sizes then it will require some uh, more initial cost okay and the design of bearing housing is complicated which means uh, in case of rolling contact bearing lab ide mari ore oru race mattum dhaan irukum okay uh, uh, and inge appadina you have inner race and outer race and the outer ring ku inner ring ku nadula dhaan you are placing everything and manufacturing this kind of uh, uh, ring the housing okay not only the rings and also the cages and cage uh, the seal, uh, seals were so ella thing we manufacture panni we have to put it put them everything in the uh, assembly so that only this kind of uh, bearing will come okay so the manufacturing part is quite uh, uh, complicated comparing to the sliding contact bearing okay so these are the different types of uh, rolling contact bearing uh, so first one is ball bearing ball bearing and the one is uh, roller bearing this i have already uh, shown you so if you are asked to draw the schematic diagram you can use these pictures they are very simple to draw okay and uh, these are radial and thrust i told you what is the difference between radial bearing and thrust bearing radial bearings are used in the uh, common application but thrust bearing where you want to uh, support a axial load or axial load for example or a motor vandu you are uh, vertically placing and you are going to place a turbine on it okay or peri a turbine vanda adu mela place panna pora appadina inge vandu load vandu axial act aagirukku so you are having axial load so in the edathla you have to put a thrust bearing so that only the load will be supported properly okay and uh, uh, this is the kind of application adhe adhe motor uh, turbine if you are going to uh, install like this then in this case you need what you need a radial bearing because load is acting like this perpendicular to the shaft okay so this is the difference between radial and thrust ball ba uh, thrust bearings and uh, if you are using balls they are ball ball bearings if you are using rollers they are roller bearings and even in radial ball bearing we are having different types uh, you don't have to memorize all these diagrams and the names okay in the ella name mo in the ella configuration mo Uh, it is available in the psg data book okay you can see them and also end the application ki end the bearing use pannala angra information um unoda data book la irukum so ellame data book la irukke so you can directly refer them uh, with uh, uh, ease of uh, reference okay so i am just telling you what are the different types one is single uh, row deep group ball bearing which means there will be only one row of bonds okay adhe mari double row la paathuna the same thing rendu row of balls irukum okay that is double row ball bearing okay angular contact bearing means there will be a slight uh, 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 inclination in the cages uh, sorry uh, races and filling notch means um, there will be notch kind of setup in the races ya abadina to accommodate the balls the balls accommodate pandradhukku there will be a kind of notch kind of setup so that 
uh, you can place the balls in the races okay and uh, self aligning i told you uh, that if you are having some axial misalignment on shaft and board bodu unoda shaft oda axis ku bearing oda axis ku or chinna misalignment irundhuchuna in the balls in the groove of kavalichinga na in the groove epdi irukna straight ah irukum epdi irukum so idukulla dhaan balls irukum so balls enna pannum idukulla dhaan move aga mudiyum okay ana in the groove sa parunga in the groove parunga that is different okay and also your balls can have some axial movement that's not restricted okay so uh, some kind of alignments uh, alignment error will also be uh, um, uh, acceptable by this kind of ball bearing and this is nothing but thrust bearing i told you uh, when you are using uh, a, a motor okay like this okay okay so when you are having a shaft uh, that is uh, that is going to be supported by okay then in this case you will be using say you if you are using a fan or turbine okay in this case load is acting downward so enna pananum indha edathula vande idu vande outer race a irukum okay so uh, this will be inner race okay and you will be having balls so they will be supporting the axial load okay so this is nothing but the setup of a uh radial uh, sorry this is nothing but setup of a thrust bearing okay so this is the standard designation of the ball bearing this diameter is called outer diameter od and this is bore diameter okay this is nothing but the width okay and uh, idu vandu uh, you can also refer all the uh, type of standard uh, bearings in the skf website skf is nothing but the manufacturer of bearing skf is nothing but the manufacturer of bearing okay all the bearings that they manufacture will be in their website and the website la poi paathanaale say for example unakku vandu 6008 bearing vaana skf 6008 bearing vaana appadina then you can directly type this and you you will be taken to the google la potale skf 6008 nu potale you will be taken to the website and the website la nee enna paakalaana ella dimension um idoda and schematic representation irukum adula od enna id enna width enna everything will be mentioned innor uh, advantage enna na and the website la nee edhai download pannikalam cad file la download pannikalam adhavadhu nee vandu thaniya pora andha bearing 6008 bearing vandu or application la model panna pora appadina nee andha bearing ah model panna vendi avasiyame kedaiyadhu you can directly go to the skf website and download the cad file and you can use it in the assembly that you are going to make okay so direct ah cad file la either solid works ko catia ko in the software ku venumo you can download or you can also download igs format so that you can use it in any software okay and uh, so bearing portavare is a standard component uh, all the data is available in the data book and also in the website of skf you can directly refer everything okay and they are classifying the bearing into four category one is uh, extra light light medium and heavy based on the uh, capacity of the uh, capacity requirement of the bearing <coughs> okay so inge vand medium appo for example 305 irukku nichukom oda bearing 305 venum appadina 305 na classify panna enna artham appadina idu 3 la aram 300 la aram chirukku appo idu enna type idu vand medium okay idoda last two digit la parunga 5 into 5 potta enna 25 so bore diameter evlo irukum bore diameter vand 25 mm okay so this is the meaning ipo vandu 110 nu nikkuna 110 na idu vandu extra light series romba light bearing potta podum so inge vandu 10 into 5 you be having 50 mm bore diameter okay so indha mari idu vandu capacity requirement na load bearing capacity requirement sala application la you may want to support high magnitude of load so application you may want to support medium or low magnitude of load so adukku thagunda mari you can select the uh, category of the bearing okay and uh, these are some other types of uh, roller bearing the idodeya configurations me inge irukra ella configurations me on the data book la irukum okay cylindrical 
roller and spherical in a vidya samna you can see here the roller on the quiet konja on the surface on the curvy arco and needle go cylindrical in the difference are up in the l by d ratio so in the in the in the l in the l in the d layer so in the l by d ratio order in the l by d ratio on the adhi one allow the length at the mr go diameter come here needle marie so that is why we call needle roller and tapered roller uh, like uh, you can say the uh, angular uh, contact mari like your races will be slightly angled in the race of the surface machine on the slightly angled arugu and the rollers are also tapered rollers will be used to accommodate in the usual or some uh, high load bearing applications la use panna okay okay so this is a very simple introduction for the uh, rolling contact bearing so if you have any doubts you can ask